In this video, we are talking about 1,000 pound road bikes, and I've handpicked four really good bikes for you to choose from. Now these bikes, I'd happily recommend to friends and family, and heck, I'd even spend my own hard-earned cash on these bikes. So if they're good enough for me, they're good enough for you. 1,000 pounds is a really popular price point, thanks largely to a cycle to work scheme here in the UK, and bike brands generally working hard to ensure their 1,000 pound bikes offer great performance and value for money. Now it is a lot of cash if you're stepping up from a cheaper first road bike, but there is a lot to look forward to. You'll generally get a lightweight bike that makes climbing easier. You'll have high quality components that will make cycling a nicer experience and good wheels and tires that will improve performance. So let's dive in. The Giant Content One is a splendid looking bike with a modern and sleek alloy frame featuring internal cable routing and an integrated seat clamp, just like you get on top end bikes. There's a carbon fork for weight saving and responsive steering through the corners. Giant is a giant company, excuse the pun, so it offers excellent value for money. The Shimano 105 group set sits third in the company's range underneath Durace and Ultegra, and you basically get the same technology, but at a fraction of the price. It's also 11 speed, just like Durace and Ultegra, and a big improvement over Tiagra 10 speed, which is more common at this price range. No disc brakes here, but rim brakes still work well. They save weight and are easy to look after. And the money saved from not having disc brakes gets you the Porsche 105 group set. Smoothness will be guaranteed on rough roads thanks to a smart choice to spec 28 mm wide tires. Drop the pressures in these wide tires and you won't even notice potholes or rough roads at all. Also amping up the comfort is a carbon fiber seat post. Again, not something you often see at this price range. Canyon's offering actually comes in just under 1,000 pounds. So you have some spare cash to buy lights and other accessories you might need. The Endurace is the German company's endurance bike, hence the name, designed to provide easy and stable handling and comfort on long rides or crappy road surfaces. You get a good looking alloy frame with internal cable routing and a carbon fiber fork. And just like the Giant, it's designed around rim brakes rather than disc brakes, which are becoming increasingly common even at the price range. Now disc brakes can provide better stopping power, but they are heavier and more expensive. Rim brakes are also usually lighter and weighing in at 8.58 kilograms, this Canyon is easily the lightest bike in this selection. So if weight matters, this is the bike for you. For components, you get a Shimano Tiagra 10-speed group set with quality fulcrum wheels and a Continental Grand Prix SL tire set. All top-notch kit from recognizable brands, no skimping where it really matters. What's good about the Ribble Endurance is that you get a very modern frame that is light and stiff with a really good Shimano Tiagra group set but you can also customize the build of your bike if you want to spend some more money on a few upgrades, tires, wheels, stems, you name it. You can customize the bike to your heart's content on the online bike builder. The white paint and smart graphics give it a really premium appearance. It looks more expensive than it really is and it will definitely impress your mates. The Mavic Axiom wheels are light yet bomb proof, so we'll handle the miles and rough roads. While the Continental Ultra Sport tires are a mark of quality and will deliver lots of grip and puncture resistance. Shimano Tiagra group set is 10 speed and offers plenty of range for getting up and down hills with a wide 1132 cassette. And the group set is very reliable and the ergonomics are first class. You won't miss that 11 sprocket from the 105 above it. It's the only bike here with disc brakes and although mechanical rather than hydraulic, they still offer plenty of power when you need it. So if you want the maximum stopping power, then this is the bike to choose from this four. If you want carbon at this price, well, to be honest, your options are pretty limited. For a long time, you'd have to spend a lot more money to get a carbon frame, but how times have changed. Amazingly, Boardman has managed to offer a decent discount from the £1,100 retail price of this bike when it first came out to £900, so it undercuts all the other bikes in this price range whilst offering a superior carbon fiber frame. The discount does suggest there's a new model in the pipeline 
so you may buy a bike while you still can. As for the frame, well, it's as modern as road bikes get. Full internal K routing keeps it nice and clean. Aero shaped tubes reduce drag and help you go faster. And a small rear triangle boosts comfort. And up front is a chunky carbon fiber fork to save weight and give responsive steering. There's even an internal seat clamp and a massive press fit 86 bottom bracket, just like you get on top end race bikes for maximum performance. Finishing it off is a Shimano Tiagra 10 speed group set, just like the other bikes in the selection, with rim brakes again saving weight over disc brakes, helping to keep the weight low and maintain it simple. And Fiatura Rubino tyres are reliable and fast rolling tyres. So if you want carbon, the Boardman is an easy pick and it undercuts the other three bikes in its price range. But don't discount the other bikes just because of the frame material. So there we go then, four really good bikes if you're in the market for a new road bike this year. And which all will offer great performance, uh, great reliability and a wide range of gears going up and down the hills. And a choice of disc brakes or rim brakes depending on whether you want the better stopping power or a lighter weight package. So these bikes all offer great potential performance, whether it's riding with your mates in the countryside at the weekend, planning a sportive somewhere you've never ridden before, or maybe you want to ride to work Monday to Friday and you want a lightweight, versatile bike you can also use for longer rides at the weekend. These bikes tick many boxes, so a really good uh, do everything bike, commuting, sportives, even racing, if you want to get into road racing, these bikes would be ideal for that. But hopefully this video has helped you narrow your choice down to some good contenders if you're in the market for a £1,000 or thereabouts road bike. Plenty more options in this uh, price range and I'll maybe do some more videos down the road to highlight some other really good bikes because there are many good bikes in this price range. But maybe you'll recommend a bike down in the comment section, a bike you own or a bike you're looking to buy. And if you have any questions on bikes you are looking for, then I'm happy to help. So get down in the comment section and ask away. But that's all for now. Hopefully this video has been useful and interesting. And if it is, then hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for loads more bike tech coming up soon in the next few weeks. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you all again soon.